Hey Dad, how's it going? Hi Dad. You okay? Ow. Oh shit! Oh lord. Tastes like London dry gin. Dad, my new car. You like it? Dad! Where did you get the money to buy this new car? Oh! Money! <laughs> Come on, Dad! Really? That you remember Zico Ventures. Zico Ventures, you know they were owing us. So they paid the money two days ago. So I decided to buy the car today. Oh, that, that you like it? That's an RX350, it's a Lexus, it's actually small. I wanted to buy a Range Rover, but uh, you know you have one, so I didn't want to go into a competition with you. So I decided to buy this. Uh, it's a small one, but it's okay. <laughs> so, you used the money paid into the company coffers by another company converted it to your own private use buying cars doing things mm -hmm. you have a problem with that you have a problem with it are you aware that this company is owned by two people my younger brother matthew and i oh yes <laughs> Absolutely, Dad. You're my father, and your brother is my uncle. So anything that belongs to you, belongs to me. And Dad, come on. I just bought a new car. I expected you to congratulate me. Come on, Dad. Really? I'm your son. Congratulate me. Okay, you're not going to congratulate me, so I'll, I'll just take a rest. It's fine. Dad, really? I mean, it's a Lexus. RX 350. Like I said, I wanted to buy a uh, GK. Yes, Dad. I'm here, Dad. Return this car to the dump, collect your money, pay Sam back into the company coffers. <laughs> really? GK, return the car, get the money, pay back to them. Ah, yes, Your Majesty. That's fine. Joyce, I ask you again. Did you see the car your son bought? Yes, I saw it. It's a nice car. Is there anything wrong with that? I've already congratulated him. You congratulated him for buying a new car. Tell me. Did you ask him where he got the money with which he bought that car? I don't need to ask him. Because he is working in his own father's company as an accountant. I see. What's the salary of an accountant in that company? Maybe you don't know. Multiply that salary by 12. Multiply it by 24. That's two years. Multiply that salary by five years. Would it be able to buy that car? But you went ahead and congratulated your son for buying a new car. Joyce, your son dipped his hand into the coffers of the company, used the money and bought a car. A company that is owned as you know. Owned by not just your husband, but owned by two people, your husband and his younger brother. 
Did you not think that this act would pit one brother against the other? Chiki, how can you do a thing like this? Did you want to liquidate the company? That car is very expensive. My, my friend, will you shut up? How much is the car so that someone will not rest in this house? Huh? Look, huh? dad is our father and his brother, our uncle. So, what's the difference? Like seriously, can you hear yourself talk? Why are you talking like this? Don't call my name again. Look, seriously, are we having this family meeting just because of a car? A car? Huh? Oh. Oh, Amaka, do you know you surprise me? Sometimes I begin to ask myself if really you are my daughter. Mm. Mommy, you gave birth to me. <laughs> so you know better. Now let me ask you. Why is it that each time good things come to your brother, you and your father here will see it as an abomination? What is the problem? Why? Mommy, let me ask you a question. Why do you support evil? What do you gain in supporting evil? Your son did something very wrong. Instead of cautioning him and asking him to return the car and bring back the company's funds, you sit here to support him. Is it fair? Mm. Uh. You have done what a daughter, a real daughter, a true daughter should do. Chike, I directed you to return that car to the car mat, claim back your money, and pay back same into the coffers of the company. You called me a king. You called your father king. You referred to your father as king. That king is going to do what kings do. Dad, I'm off to work. Dad! This man has gone there. Dad is talking to you. Hey, get out! Oga! Hey, open the gate! Daddy? No, no, no. <laughs> Is everything okay? Um, you look troubled. Everything is okay. Yeah, I guess you have somewhere you wanted to go to, right? Of course I'm off school. Okay. Off you go then. Okay. Um to have a nice day, Daddy. <laughs> I love you. Uh, same here. 
Daddy, don't miss me too much, okay? <laughs> Yes, it's a nice me. Uh huh. See, brother, I, 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 I think you should come to the city tomorrow. I need you in the city. Ah. Yes. My house. Uh, well, you know, come anytime, anytime. I'm here. Yes. I do mind. It's all right. All right. All right. Have a safe ride then. To tomorrow then. Uh, Matthew. All right, all right. You're in the office. That's great. That's great. Ah. Uh, no, my dear, I can't, I can't, I can't make office today. I just want to stay back at home, you know. Uh, see, Matthew, I, I just called uh, our elder brother, Izuna. Yes, I asked him to be here tomorrow, and I want you in my house also tomorrow. Let's, let's see. Let's have a tete a tete. Yes. All right. What is it? Huh? And who was that you were discussing with on phone? My dear, I'm worried. Worried? I'm much worried. Worried about what? My brother Uchi uh -huh. said that uh, I should come to the city tomorrow, early tomorrow, early morning. Tomorrow, kwa? Yao, Uchi. I hope there is no problem. Well, I don't know, but from the way he's sounding on phone, I suspect, I suspect something is wrong somewhere. My, what could that be? Please, can I go with you tomorrow? No, 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 no. I'm not going with you. Let me go first and know what the problem is. Stay in the house and take care of the house tomorrow. Okay, if you say so. What is it? You just left few hours for lesson and now you are back. So what happened? Mama, you're asking as if you don't know. Is it about your lesson fee? Yes, Mama, it's about the lesson fee. Mama, they say I should not come back to that lesson without their money. In fact, they practically flogged me out of the lesson hall. You mean the lesson teacher flogged you? Yes, Mama. Hey! Don't worry. Just go inside and drop your bag. I will go and see your uncle. Let me talk to him. Let's see if he can help us. Okay? Don't cry. Don't worry. Just go inside and drop your school bag. Mama, do whatever you can to give me the money. I wouldn't want to miss lesson again. Zambi is around the corner. And Please I don't. say don't worry. Just go and drop your bag. Come and help me so that we'll prepare lunch. Let me go and see your uncle. She may have been crying since because she was sent out of the lesson hall. And the reason is that she has not paid her lesson fee. And the jam exams is fast approaching. It's around the corner. It's starting soon. Ah. Mm -hmm. So all these things you are, you are saying, how is it my business? Please, I want you to give her the lesson fee. You know, since my husband, your brother died, Chimwendo and I have been passing through a whole lot. 
going through hardship. And you know I don't have any sound business that I'm doing for now. If I have, I would have given her the money. I wouldn't have come to you for that. Please help us. You want me to give you some money to pay for her listening fee? What for? Um, to go to the university. You want her to go to the university? Agnes, you want the children to, do, to go to the university? Hey. Now let me ask you. If we spend all this money for Chiwe, what will be our benefit? I mean, my benefit. Uh, uh, man, why are you talking like this? I am talking like this because Chiwe is just a woman. She belongs to another man's family. Any money spent on her will be inherited by another man. So as you can see, spending money on her is a waste. Send her to go and learn the leg. Uh, learn, learn hand work. Uh, 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 so you know, uh, her dress, you know. Nani, are you alright? Why are you talking like this? No, now it's unfair. Uh -uh. How can you say that any money spent in training Chinua, our daughter, is going to be a waste? Simply because she's a woman. Uh, thank God we are beginning to understand that Chinua is just a woman. And that's the more reason I say that I will not spend my money on her. Shishi, what you come? Why you spend it? You will not spend your money on her. Nani. But let me tell you, we serve a living God. And the God we serve never forsake his own. Never leave his people. Soon you will celebrate Chiwan. Send the Chiwan to go and learn hand work. I have set my mind. Send the Chiwan to go and learn hand work. Agnes! I was going to wear what I was going to say. She's not there, my lady. I have voices. Who are you shouting at? Is it not Agnes? She went to She came here asking me to give her money to pay for Chiwen those uh, 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 lesson fee because she wants Chiwen to go to the university. Can you imagine that? Ah, Papa, you would have given her the money now. Eh? This thing you are doing to Chiwen's family is not fair. Oh. Eh? You are being unnecessarily stingy. Yeah, Aka gum. Aka gum. Aka chi chi chi. Papa. Kedera muta nere. Kedera muta nere. Oh, I'm going to go Come on. This way. Come on. Mama, you're back. How did it go? My daughter, your uncle did not give me the money. Why? He said spending money on you is a waste because you are a woman that you belong to another man's family. Wait, Mama. My uncle said that spending money on me, Chinwe, is a waste. It is okay, my daughter. Let him say whatever he wants to say. Mouth is meant to talk. For that lesson fee, you will pay for it. For the university, you will go. You will see the four walls of the university. You just say, I will put him to shame. Oh God, who did I offend? He actually said that. Let that not bother you. Why? You are drinking. Let me, let me get it over to you again. I'm not drinking. I'm not even touched it. Not until you. I know the reason behind this urgent call. Talk to me. Let me be at ease. Yes, brother, talk to us. Since I came back from work, I've not rested. I, I want us to know why you called for this meeting. Um, well... Is in when them Matthew I asked you people to come because there are there is a critical issue we must look at. Kaiwelo Efifia Chubai Uji Kachiali Jinariani. I want Matthew and I to break our company. 
we share our company. What? What have you just said? Brother, why? Is there any problem? No, there is no problem. At least today, there is no problem. But as I look into the future, I... Problems loom. Hmm? Miliard no bought back. I want to go Lian. Let us try and forestall that problem that is looming. Problem? What? What kind of problem are you emphasizing here? Principally, it has to do with my my son. When you belong on here. I have a load. I have a big problem in my house concerning my son. Matthew, you remember the last time my son dipped his hand into the coffers of the company. He took or stole or misappropriated 10 million naira. That's not a small amount. There are other things and you know it. Yes, sir, I remember. So, my reasoning is this. Two brothers doing very well. Two brothers closely knit. We own this company and we've come over the years. Now, in walks my son. And with his activities, he will soon, soon bring our two heads and click them together, knock them together. He will be a wedge between two brothers. He's going to cause a problem between you and I. So to forestall that, we need to... Uh, get the experts to look at the company, look at the, uh, the assets and liabilities of the company with a view to sharing the company between us. You go with yours, I go with mine. If tomorrow I need money, I will come to you. You want to give me, you give me. So there will be peace. So if both of you agree, Matthew, if you agree, we get our lawyers to work on this immediately. Brother, have you really cross-examined your heart? Hmm? And see this as the best option? That's the only option available from the depth of my heart. If there is any, you tell us that this is coming from deep, deep, deep inside of me. Brother, you are a senior here and like the father to us, you've heard him talk. What have you to say? Um, I don't see anything wrong with what he has just said. It only goes to show that uh, he's uh, a good a man of peace, as we used to know him, as your chain, also. Uh, but what of you? Since he's coming in good faith, to me, I think it's it's okay. Man. What? My mind is, uh, yeah. I am much relieved. I am relieved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You people have made my day. Oh, ah, brother. Open this drink so that we will toast with it. See you. This. No, you go ahead. You are elder brother. What nonsense is this? Who prepared this? Huh? That is our accountant, Chike. 
he brought it to my office and when I went through it, I saw the nonsense that he made there. When I called him to come and take it and prepare it correctly, the next thing he shouted at me and walked out on me. When I called him back, he ignored me. He shouted at you? Yes, brother. Walked out? Yes, brother. Merci. Merci. Anyway, from what I have here, he's incapable of handling that job. You can't defend that position. That's why I brought this case to you. He's fond of doing this thing regularly. Why don't you go back to your office and do a letter? Take a decision on this, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, do a letter, whatever you decide. To demote him, to ask him to leave, suspend him, to leave him, whatever you decide. Come on. Okay. You say so, sir. Go on. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I called you this night. Come on, get Balo. Okay. I have gone to many people asking them to lend me some money to pay for your lesson fee. But nobody agreed to have. So, what I am suggesting now is that you will go to that our land across the road. You want us to sell it? <laughs> we will go there and plug the remaining oranges and sell it so that you will get some money to be buying in the market and sell as well until when you make money to pay off your lesson fee also to save for your university you will go to the university now and mm -hmm. Mama ha. I think you will kill orange Hmm? How many oranges do I have to hawk before I'll be able to realize money for my lesson fee? Hey, Mama, the, 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 the exam is fast approaching. Oh, the jump exam is fast approaching. Mm. I don't want to miss the exam. You will not miss it. That is what I'm saying. That as you are selling the oranges, I will not sit down and fold my hands now. I will be running around too to make sure I, I, I get some money to add to the one you will make. They will pay for your lesson fee. They save the one for, for your university. Oh? Okay, Mama. I've heard you. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. So you can go in now and sleep. Are you not coming with me? I will join you shortly. Go. Dad! What's the meaning of this? 
What is it? I was given a reassignment letter at the office. That's right. Did you sign this? Whose signature is there? Yours, of course, Dad. Then why are you asking if I signed it? My signature is there. Dad, why did you sign it? I signed it to make it authentic. To make it authentic that you've been reassigned, pulled out of accounts department and posted out. That's what it means. Dad, are you by any way trying to say I don't know my job? Well, do you know your job? Do you? Of course it's, it's evident that you don't know your job. Facts speak for themselves. The facts are there for everybody to see. See, as you walk about that company, people are jeering at you. People are laughing at you. People are making mockery at you. You don't know your job. You don't. I sent you to school to read accountancy. You spent the whole time gallivanting about, roaming the university. You spent the whole, a better part of the time, drinking, whining, dining, womanizing. Oh, loafing about. You came out with an empty skull. I'm ashamed of you. Dad, for your information, you're the president of that company. And I'm the vice president of the company because I am your son. So I have the right to choose whatever office I like. Really? Yes. You have the right. You don't have any right to go to anywhere you want in that company. I am the president of that company by virtue of my owning that company. And I will move you to where I want you. And I will take you out of where I do not want you. And that's what I just did. For your information, if you don't take time, I will assign you to head the drivers of the company. Dad. Me. Yes. Chike. Yes. To head the drivers of the company. Yes. Me, Chike. Okay. Dad, from today, henceforth, I am the new president of the company. And you're the vice president. What kind of a man are you? How can you tell your brother to reassign your son from his position? in your own company. Why? Why are you doing this? Eh? Please, better tell your brother to cancel that letter and return my son to his position. Else, I will come to that office myself and sort it out anyhow he wants it. Look, Dad, this is totally wrong. I mean, you are the president of that company. So why would you even allow your own younger brother humiliate your son in a company owned by his father? Imagine. <sighs> and I'm very sure you must have told the other stars what happened. What a shame. Mom. Flora. I am totally disappointed at you both. For crying out loud. Is this what we should be saying by now? I mean, you all know that uncle wouldn't have been able to carry out that action if daddy didn't give his consent. So, 
this is not the time for all of this. We also know that Chike here is not so good at his job. I mean, he cannot even defend the four years he spent at the university. So what we should be doing now is, you know, talking to daddy to talk to his brother so that Chike can be reinstated back in the company. I mean, Amaka, will you shut up your mouth? One more word from you again, I will give you a dirty slap. Is it me and your siblings you are talking to that way? Eh? Just listen to yourself. Your father reassigned your own blood brother from his position and you are here talking rubbish. We tend to forget that uncle is also a part of the company. I mean, is the company is jointly owned by uncle and daddy, which means he is a director of the company as well. So, you know how the ghost is speak to me? Huh? When I'm consulting with my father, hmm? trying to correct his mistakes. Hmm? When I'm trying to take my birthright, you're coming to interrupt. Well, I'll deal with you. Chicken, what's come over you? Why are you going to deal with your own sister? You will deal with your own sister. You're having threats at your own sister. Is that the way you were brought up? Is that how I brought you up? Let's see. Just listen to my voice. You are all supporting Chicken. Talking about both of you. Both of you are supporting Chicken. No. Dad! Is, are you not supporting her? Are you not supporting her? This is the only sane voice I have in this family. Huh? Yes. But never mind, keep supporting him. Chicken, if gets not taken, even that which you have will be taken away from you. Don't mark up. You are like the decayed tooth that may need to be pulled out to save the rest. Hmm? What is good enough for the rest? When you leave here, take off my shirt. What? Take it off his mind. I didn't give it to you. Hmm. Hey. Oh God, I fulfilled Oh God, who did I offend? Why? Ah, uh, and uh, Everybody knows me. My rent is first. Yeah. How much are you? Field or field? Field. Okay. How much is this? Ah, and uh, Everybody knows you. Very good. Is this very sweet? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tomorrow you look for me. Okay. Thank you. I am my own. When will this problem come to an end? Did you want to? Sweet orange, sweet orange. Apple bagamo.
of sorrow. Very sweet orange. Very sweet. Mm. Thank you. Um, I have to be on my way now. Ha. We'll be expecting you tomorrow. So Hope you'll come around. Yeah. Okay, Joel. It's not your turn to shine. This <laughs> orange. <laughs> no. mm. Mm. We are expecting to see you tomorrow. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Hope you will come because the orange are talking. It's very ah, sweet. You don't need to beg me. It's hmm? my business. <laughs> 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 I'll bring much more sweeter one tomorrow. Yes. It's very yeah, sweet. Tomorrow, huh? mm. My money, sir. Money. Now my own turn to shine. Give me money. On the poor one. Give me money. Don't get money. They rush your orange. It's not a crime. Set to four men. I no get money. No get money. They rush your orange. No call me poor man. Customer. Don't forget to come to work. Yeah. Thank you. I will come. Thank you very much. Bring sweet one. No. I will. Sweet one tomorrow. Don't forget. Now this orange. John, you don't. You no fee pay for orange. Orange. I get pay for purple. Go to work. I quit. Oh yes. I quit so you and your brother can enjoy your company and your wealth. Quit. That means you resigned your job. I hope you told your mother and uh, Flopsy so that. They don't begin to see it as if my brother and I sacked you. Well, that's none of your business, Brad. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, son. It's okay. So now, go out and you will begin to search for jobs. I hope you relish the experience of going out there in the sun, standing in the sun, standing in the rain, being rejected, being refused, searching for 
job. Good luck, son. What did you eat? My stomach is just turning me. Yeah. 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 Customer, our customer. Customer. <laughs> no, you are welcome. Mm. <coughs> I hope today already is sweet. I like it well. This one is very sweet. Very sweet. Sweeter than the ones I've been bringing before. Oh my God! In the shop. Can you get it? Oh my God! 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 Mm. Hey. 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 You are too much. very sweet. <laughs> 200 naira. Yeah. Yeah. Give me 100 naira. 100 naira. Now you can have Hey, the wheel. Did I give you from this one? Come get better. I'm going to have a no. What is the same thing? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I hope it's sweet like this one. Uh, uh, hi, trust me. Oh, 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 my money is supposed to be 300 now. You oh. bought the one of 200. He bought the one of 100 now. So but you gave me 200. Really much. 100 now. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Come and collect this. Sorry. No. Come inside and collect this. Yeah. No. Sorry. Man. Okay. My come inside. Come, come inside. Inside? Yes. Ah. Where's my trouser now? Did you? Ah, where's that trouser? I dropped it there. Come, come. Come inside. Ah. Hey, hey. Patawa. Come, come. I dropped it here. Come, come. My trouser. Come on. No! 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 No!
Why is she back so early with this quantity of unsold oranges? Chim. Chim Wendo. You came back so early. Eh? And why you didn't sell this, um, your oranges finished? What happened? Oh, Mama, you're back. Yes. Hmm? I am tired and I am feeling sick. You are sick? What is happening to you? My body, my joints, everywhere is pain in me. I thank you. It's like you have malaria. Hmm? Don't worry, I'll give you some money. You'll go to the chemist and then uh, buy this um, malaria drugs. Hmm? You'll be fine, don't worry. Go in and get me water, let me drink. Okay. Oh. What is happening? It's the body pain. Let me get you the water. Why are you walking like that? Why this sudden change of um, movement? Why your step is like this? Mama, it's the body pains I told you about. It's spinning me all over my joints, my laps, my everywhere is spinning me. Body pain. Let me get you the water, Mama. Body pain. And you are walking like this. I don't get it. Chike, you mean you went to your father's office to ask him for money? He turned you down. Mom, huh? I don't know how to explain this. But turning me down is an understatement. He called me all sorts of names. He said I'm a vagabond. He said I'm a prodigal son. He said I'm like, uh, I'm like who in the Bible? He said I'm a fornicator. I'm a sinner. I'm a thief. That I want to steal his company from him. I want to kill him. He said all sorts of things. Uncle Matthew was there as well. And I thought Uncle Matthew was on my side. When I turned my back, I looked at Uncle Matthew, he started. Uncle Matthew, Matthew started. Yeah. He insulted me. He started too. talking back at me as well. He said all sorts of things. And I, at the end of the day, he gave me some money. And I, I looked at myself, I was like, but I am. I'm actually, I'm actually my father's son. I'm supposed to be in charge of the company when he's no more. Can you imagine? Calm down. When your father comes back, he will tell me why he refused to give you that money. And if he didn't give you that money in my presence, the house, this whole house, will not accommodate the both of us. Just relax. Mom, are you serious? No, 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 is this a joke? Why are you looking at me like that? I mean, is, is this what mom is supposed to say? Mom, as a mother, is this what you're supposed to say to your son? You're blaming dad for not giving him money for upkeep. Like seriously, where is that money supposed to come from? Chike on his own decided to resign from the company. Purposely. And then you still expect to, to be paid from the same company. Oh wait, as a staff or as what? And considering how you resigned, one would think that you had plans. No, one would think that you should be working somewhere by now. But no, please, daddy should not be blamed for anything. I mean, some of your mates are out there. They own their own businesses themselves. 
Some of them are even married with kids. Amanda! Is it possible you shut up for once? Mom, can you imagine this girl? Huh? So you no longer have respect for your seniors. Hmm? Imagine the way you're insulting your elder brother, Maka. I'm seeing her as a parent. Yes. Yeah. Well, nobody's talking about insults here or disrespect. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm sounding like this. I do not mean to disrespect him in any way. But let's call it speed is speed. Do you know what it means to work as an accountant in a company as big as Oshman's Investment Limited? What did he do with the opportunity? He blew it all away. And you want to blame that? Wait, let me ask you a question. I'm sorry, one question. Put yourself in that shoes. If you employ someone in your company and that person is not carrying out his or her duties accordingly, please, what would you do? Mommy Biko, talk to your son. Amaka, will you shut up your mouth? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 hold no, no. on. Amaka, shut up. I said shut up your mouth. And one more word again from you, I will come direct to where you are seated right now and slap a lot of you. Mom, don't worry. Let me, let me, let me take it. Hold on, hold on. When your father comes back and refuses to give you that money, eh? Then we now know how to tackle it. Namaka. Sir. So, uh, you sit before me and insult me. What? You're speaking to me like we're age mates. You have the F1 tree. Huh? I didn't insult you. Hmm? I'm always saying the truth. Statement or facts. Different from insults. You sit in front of me. But it's not. Come here. Maka, you don't have respect. No, you say something that you don't have respect. What? Stay, 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 stay
okay? Eat as one family, talk as one family, laugh as one family, enjoy as one family. <laughs> the moment you enter that gate, we lock Locks. that gate. No problem. It's okay by me. Very okay by me. What, what, what's, the, what's your relationship all about? It's a family thing. I'll do just that. Go ahead, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, darling, what are these documents for? Uh, this is a deed for uh, a new property I just bought. Oh. You bought a new house? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing there? Come with the money now. Mama, I'm coming. Mama, I'm here. So, how much did you make? How much is with you? I have um, 15,479. Okay. Yeah. And I have fifteen thousand two hundred naira. So how much is that your lesson fee? Seven thousand naira, Mama. Okay. Today is Friday. Yes, Mama. Tomorrow you will go to the farm and finish the remaining work. Okay. So on Monday you resume for your lesson. Hmm? <laughs> so Mama, hmm? I am resuming my lesson on Monday. Yes. Just like that. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best mother in the whole world. <laughs> I know. You are happy now. Yes, I'm very happy. I know. Thank I you. Know. You're happy. <laughs> so go inside and get my lunch for me. I'll prepare your favorite. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Hey. Mama, I'm finished. Oh. Hi, where is your son? Where is Chike? Chike, he, he traveled. Traveled to where? Chike traveled to Potako. Is there any problem? Hey, to do what? I don't know. Daddy, what is this? Ah, what is going on? Ah, Tell us what happened. My fears are being made real. Hey! Now, Mom, I went to. I went to that house I told you people I bought okay. about a month ago. I saw I saw somebody I've never seen in life, you know, sitting making himself very, very comfortable in my property. The person said he's the new owner of the house. And he claimed that he bought that house from somebody just two weeks ago. How? I challenged him. And he said he would bring the documents. I first ran to the, this house now. I, I checked. I've gone to where I kept the document. No document! No document! The what? house document is not there! Hey! Jesus hey! Christ, this is hey! This is impossible! Ah! I'm ah, finished! So you mean chicken so long? Wait then, Amaka, there is no point making noise here. We have to wait until Chike comes back. I believe he has his own reasons for oh selling the house. Hey. Mommy, is it? Hey. Is this what you have to say? Will you shut up? Ah. Shut up your mouth! Shut up! I said oh shut up. Oh Jesus Christ! What did he go to Patakot to do? What? I don't know. You don't know. You will know. Daddy.
Chief, you have to take it easy. Just calm down. I will suggest you let go. You going to court with him will be a waste of time because you have no evidence. Chief, you have many properties in this city and other places. So this one will not kill you. Where will this boy sell my property and run away? Now that he has sold it, where is the money? <sighs> anyway, never mind. I know what to do. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would do it. I would. Oh. You just have to take it easy. I know how you feel. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. But I told you. Oh my god. Oh baby, I'm so tired. I know. I know. But I really enjoyed myself in that club. Man, babes. Mm -hmm. Port Harcourt is so much enjoyment. <laughs> I told you now. I told you, you thought I was joking. I told you I was going to spoil you silly. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen anything yet. This is just the beginning. Trust me. Wait. This one passed little. Baby, you spot me big. Mm -hmm. Like, so big. But, come to think of it, mm -hmm. why did you spend that kind of money in just one night? How much? 4.5 million. Is that one money? That's no money. See, my name is Chike. Boo of the bullets. Hmm? What's this? It's a Rolex wristwatch. Say it again. Ro Rolex. Again? Rolex. Get uh -huh. keep that. Wait. <laughs> Four point five million naira in just one night, and you say it's nothing? It's nothing. Come on. Listen, I'm giving you five million naira tomorrow. You know, I promised I was going to take you off shopping. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You don't mean it? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, since you said it's nothing, the most important thing is that I really enjoyed myself to the fullest. Uh, you have more on the way. Listen, go in, mm -hmm. take a bath, alright? Clean up because we're going to enjoy ourselves tonight. Five million naira for you tomorrow. Oh we're going shopping. <laughs> oh my god, baby, I love you. Yeah, Thank you, you clean so up, clean much. Up, clean up, clean up. Boo of the bullets. Mm -hmm. Boo of the bullets. Boo of the bullets. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You are too good, baby. Mm -hmm. You are too good, Nana. Mm -hmm. Five million naira for you tomorrow. Oh baby. I promise. Say you. that again. Five million naira for you. I love tomorrow. the sound of it. Five million naira for you. <laughs> I tomorrow. love the sound Take of it. Take a bath. Thank you. Take a bath. Come on. See you later. Go ahead. <laughs> babe, you're still sleeping. Get up. I'm checking out. Why now? Why? I mean, why? I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to go now. I don't want to go. So I'm going to stay for some weeks. But but no, I told you I'm checking out this morning. Babe, I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Tessie, now. Listen, we we'll stayed three weeks in Potakot. That's enough time. Listen, we have to go because my mom is worried about me. Babe, I said I don't want to go. I'm not going. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. You know the end. You don't want to go? I don't want to go. Ha! The manager. Who? The manager. Oh. Thank you, sir. You sent for me. Come in, come in. Yes. You sent for me, sir. Oh, yes. I, I sent for you. Please prepare my bill because um, I'm, I'm checking out shortly. I've done that, sir. Oh, you have? Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. How much is my bill? Oh, uh, okay. So you spent three weeks here, but you deposited for two weeks. So you need to balance us one week. Manager, oh, sir. Manager, sir. I didn't ask you to preach to me now. I just asked for my bill. How much is my bill? Sorry, sir. Sorry, the bill is one point nine million now. Do you know who's standing before you? Do you know me, Imonyombo? My name is Chike. I know, sir. AKA Boo of the Bullets. AKA Odumeje. AKA Hush Puppy. 
I'm sorry, sir. How much is the bill again? 1.9 million. Sir. I'll give you 2.5 million. Eh? Keep the change for yourself. Ah, thank you. Thank you, sir. God Please, bless you, sir. Take my bag. You have POS, eh? Yes. I'm you coming do. to pay with my card. No Please problem, sir. take my bag with you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Prepare your POS. I'm coming to pay. Okay, sir. Bia, 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 bia. Bia, Come, come. Chicken, stop. Bia, go do. Come. Come, get up, get up. You see, Tessie. I have other plans for you. Ijego Dubai before. Dubai? Ijego, have you been to Dubai before? No, 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 uh -huh. no. Hey, I intend to take you to Dubai next week. Really? Wait, I want to go and spoil you. Huh? <laughs> wow, are you serious? I want to I want to spoil you with money. Huh? Baby, I, 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 I are you sure? I'm serious. Do you know who is with you? Chike, boo of the bullets. Mm. Eh? AKA Hush Puppy. That's my baby. AKA Odumeje. Mm -hmm. Me too, <laughs> Listen, go in and shower. Let's, let's check out. Because my mom is worried about me. She called me on the phone. Baby, you know I love you, right? You love me? Mm -hmm. You know, right? I know. Go and, go and shower. Eh? Let me pay my bills. We're going to Dubai. My son did not do anything. Where are you taking him to? Huh? Madam, you are disturbing our work. We are only following your husband's instruction. What's please be instruction? Officer! That, like seriously! Take me out of this place! You can't come in here and we'll put cuffs on my hand. Move out of this fucking huh? house! Take him out of this place! Take, take him out! You can't do that on bad job! Are you Are you stupid? Are you bad? Do you know who I am? Get out from here! Move! Move! Why would I do a thing like this? My mom do something, they're taking Chike away, do something. So your father brought this policeman here to arrest Chike. Just because he sold his house. His own father's house, ordinary house. Eh? Mom, just do something. It's do okay. Something. We shall see. Our children, we shall see. Mom. Where do you think you are going to? I'm off to do my business for the day. You are off to do your business for the day. Yesterday night, you locked me out of our bedroom and I kept quiet. Then this morning, you've prepared yourself to go for your business while our son is over there in cell languishing. What kind of a man are you? What's the meaning of all this? The meaning is that you are not going anywhere until you call the DPO to release my son. Woman. Woman, I want to inform you that your son is going to be in that jail for a while if care is not taken. He is going to be there until he releases my house which he sold without my consent. If he does not release that house, if he fails to bring back that house, then he will rot in jail. Do you know you are very wicked and heartless? How can you allow my son to rot in jail just because he sold your house? Ordinary house for that matter. Ordinary. Yes! That's what it is. Did I hear you say ordinary house? Ordinary house. Oh my God. This woman has really gone overboard. Ordinary house. My friend, get out of my way. You are not going anywhere until you call the DPO to release my son. That is final. Get out of my way. Okay, okay, you will come back in this house and meet me.
Hello, DPO. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir, it's me. Please, DPO, I, I am pleading with you to release my son. Yes, sir. My husband. Oh. Sir, please do something for me. Whatever it will take, I will pay. Please, sir. I am begging. Oh. You mean you can't? It's okay. No problem, sir. No problem. What will I do now? What will I do now? Uh, I think I will call the IPO. Okay. All children are my brother. I have heard all you said. You see, what that boy did was very bad. It's un unacceptable. But I want to ask you a favor. Yes, what is it? Call the police to release the boy. The boy continues to stay there. We will not solve any problem. Cannot solve any problem. I know. You see? <coughs> you see? This boy is your only son. Your son and the only son. I would suggest you use that house to settle him. Let him use the money he realized for the sale of the house to establish his own business and leave, <coughs> and leave you alone. Because if he stays in that cell for a longer time, he become more criminalized and may be a threat to your life. Bizu, what you're asking of me is difficult. Very, very difficult. I can't begin to imagine my own son selling a whole house, selling my house, a whole house. Aye, Simba. House I bought in just under a month. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Should not work. Mm -mm. Then, Ochiroza, I won't give Ochiroza. This boy is your only son. Your son and the only son. I would suggest you use that house to settle him. Let him use the money he realized for the sale of the house to establish his own business and leave, <coughs> and leave you alone. Because if he stays in that cell for a longer time, he become more criminalized and may be a threat to your life. of you. Uncle has a good point. Why don't you just listen to him? I know how difficult this is, but I know that you can. Daddy, you can use this house to settle Chike. Daddy, please call the police to release him. Please. Daddy. Sit. Please sit. I just asked you a question. To so what do I owe this visit, especially in a hotel room? Sit. 
você dá um quiz. I invited you here so that we can talk. Talk, you say? Uh, talk about what? Talk about my son in your custody. See, IPO, I want you to release my son. And I know you are in the position to do that. Point of correction, madam. It is never in my position to release that boy. I have a superior for crying out loud. I cannot do anything without the due consent of my superior, which is the DPO. Yes, I know. But you can still do something if you wish. And I will pay you any amount you want and make you happy. You mean? What I mean is that I will pay you the sum of 200,000 Naira and also make you feel the sweetness of my body. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Stop. Uh, hello, receptionist. Please, uh, those people that just left here now. What did you come for? I don't know, I just came to the phone. Please, can I know the room number? I can't explain that, sir. It's open.
I hope they did not beat you at the police cell. Huh? Mom? <laughs> if you see what those boys, those criminals did to me in that cell, you'll cry. Mom, they beat me up two days straight. Father is very wicked. Don't mind your father. He is very wicked. But thank God the IPO letter released you. Otherwise, those criminals would have killed you for me. IPO? Which IPO? It wasn't the IPO who released me. It was the DPO. Mm -hmm. huh? I was in the cell when one of the policemen came and said the DPO wanted to see me. And they said the uh, father ordered my release or something. Wait. I, I don't understand. You mean it wasn't the IPO that got you released? No, I said it was a DPO. Oh my God. What was wrong? I, I'm just a fool. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Have you taken your bed? Mm -hmm. What's this video for? Hmm? Barrister. <laughs> Chief. Uh, you know I told you that I want to go to Chimak's hotel to see a client from Port Harcourt. Yes. I'm getting there. About to walk in, mm. I saw your wife with a police officer handling your case with your son. So I hid inside my car. Yeah. As they went out, I quickly rushed to the receptionist to get any information about them. But she refused telling me. Mm. But I had to give her some money. So she told me everything. She even told me the room they used. So I quickly went to the room. That video you are watching mm. is the result of what I saw. With the IPO, huh. it's even possible she paid for that room. Well, I don't know about that. But I just decided to let you know about it. <clears throat> Go check it there. Ah. Jump there. Hmm? Alright, send it. Okay. Send it to my phone. Okay. I need a copy of it. <laughs> Do it, Jeff. Hey, hey, hey. You're a detective, a very good detective. Right <laughs> if you can say that again. <laughs> lesson today and why are you sitting under this hot sun well, i don't know what is happening to me oh I'm out of my body is paining me and i'm feeling weak hey mama i can't get you low you i can't get you are you sure it's not malaria mama, i don't know i don't know okay. that means we have to go to the hospital eh? now let me go and wash my legs What's the meaning of this nonsense? Have you finished watching it? Watch very well. Watch! Watch! Yes. What is this for? Have you seen the bed? Don't you recognize that bed? Don't you recognize that room? Which room? Which room are you talking about? Hotel ah. room where you took the IPO to. The hotel room you took the IPO to. 
ebe IPO no dosage tiwage ha melo wege bele me Joyce took the IPO to a hotel room for what eh you know me too well that I can't mess around are you not a man I am a man but you've just chosen another man who gave you this fake news this is fake this is fake. Ocheri, please. I, I don't need this stress right now. It's very hot out there. I just want to cool off. I just want to cool off. So stop this disturbing this my life with this your fake news. Ha! 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 Hello. Daddy. Daddy. Anything the matter? What is wrong? Okay, my daughter. Just a slight misunderstanding with your mother. I'm okay. Everything will be sorted out, okay? Daddy, are you sure? Go back inside. Mm. Mm. Go back. Uh, my money is not complete. Uh, my money is supposed to be 300 now. You bought the one of 200. He bought the one of 100 now. So but you gave me 200. You much. 100 now. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Come and collect this. Yeah. Come inside and collect this. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Come inside. Come, come. come inside. Inside? Yes. Where is my trouser now? Did you? Ah, where is that trouser? I yeah. dropped it there. Come, come. Come inside. Ah. Hey, hey. Tatawa. Customer. I oh. dropped it here. Customer. Eh? My trouser. Hey! 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 That was the day I came back early. And I told you that I was sick. Hey! Hey! Why didn't you tell me? I didn't tell you because... Because I was afraid. Chinwa, you don't need to be afraid. It was not your fault. Now look at the result. Unwanted pregnancy. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry, Mama. Chinwa, you don't have to be sorry. Oh, God. See what poverty have cost us. Had it been I have money, I have money, or your uncle gave us money for your lesson fee, all these things wouldn't have happened. Hey, Chinwa, you don't have to be, don't, you don't have to be sorry. I hope you can locate those, uh, the uncompleted building where those animals works. You will take me there. Hmm? It is a thing of pain, it is a thing of sorrow That I will die in this condition Well, madam, um, those boys you're looking for, they're not the work here again That's why they find them, anything happen Um I want you to look at this young lady to know if you will remember her. Madam, I remember her well, well now. I better customer where they bring sweet orange for us. Come here. Where those boys, those mumu boys, me raped that day. Ah, those boys. God don't pay them back for what to them. What happened? Eh? Those boys. Mm. Ah. She not tell you what I do there. Eh? Ah, that's the apple that day. The team pay me. I pursue them. I give them a race. I pursue them. Because you go that side where they debut that road. Get one place where they debut the road over that side now. Now the boy one job got us. They follow the boy in carry head. Bah! Now come for the gutter. Now he died that place. Sharp, sharp. What? Straight up. Now the boy died. So God take pay and back. No say God smart. Pass everybody. The boy say he know everything. I saw he take die. Straight up. Oh my God. Uh-uh. What's happen? Someone had a shout what? Oh my God. What's happen? I hope see everything is alright. No, I just wanted to see the idiot. That the fool that raped my daughter. The mumu boy. You don't join your ancestors. The boy don't die. That's all life they be. Well, madam. 
show me that I say whenever the boy did. Now it's high fire now the boy go the rotten. I'm waiting for time be that. I'm waiting to ask. I'm waiting to meet. I'll say nothing after no. No problem, ba. Let's go. Where where you go bring orange? Come again now. That orange they sweet to oh. all the kind of nonsense, nonsense orange when they bring these days. Everything is alright. It's not the will of God Why for don't me to don't suffer in this way. I know it's not the will of God for me to suffer in this way. I'm a no Buruja Chukwa. Mam no buru bichimo, mam no buru chachukwa, mam no buru bichimo, mam no buru chachukwa, mam no buru bichimo, mam no buru bichimo. Obi obi mwa, buri Namunga muno no doa. It is a thing of pain. It is a thing of sorrow. That I would die in this condition. Oh, oh, oh. My neighbor, my chim so wadiro. Um, I want all of us to pay very close attention, particularly Chike, uh, who is primarily concerned with this short meeting. We all know that Chike here sold my property, my building, some time ago, without my consent. I don't know how much he made out of the building. Subsequently, I made a lot of noise and I was ready to pursue the matter to its logical conclusion that I was personally advised to withdraw. And I have done that. Chike, I am talking to you. Chike. Chike. Dad, I, I have ears now. I'm, I'm not listening with my mouth. Drop that phone and listen. I have been persuaded to let you keep that money, and I think it's about sixty something million naira. Mm -hmm. You will keep that money as your settlement. You are my first son, and I'm settling you with that amount. Huge amount of money. Chike, you will have to invest that 64 plus million naira mm -hmm. and invest wisely. If you don't know how to invest it, ask questions. I'm available also. Ask me. And I will tell you how to, where that money will get more returns. Invest it wisely and you will reap you will reap almost runaway profits and you become something in life. But if you miss it if you fail to invest it wisely then I'm afraid it will be your finish. So, choose life 
don't choose death. Mm. I'm done. <laughs> Can I say something? On this issue? Yes. There is nothing more to be added to what I said. Your father treats you like this. Why are you looking for her? Is she no longer my late brother's daughter? No. Get a catchy for the night. Anyway, she is inside sleeping. Eh? Sleeping? Mm. By this time of the day. So, all I've been hearing is true. Agnes, all I've been hearing is true. You see your life? You see your life? I want you earlier to take this girl to somewhere to go and let her uh, hand work, but you refuse. Now you have seen it. You have seen it on water pregnancy. In this our family. Ah, God forbid. It will not work. Ijezi, are you not satisfied that Chinwe has gotten pregnant? Where she was hustling to make money so she can pay off her school fees. Wish you her wicked uncle refused to help her. Ijezi, get out of this place. Leave us alone to carry our cross. It is our own cross. We will carry it. Leave us alone. Cross? Yes. Did I hear you say cross? Hey, Agnes, did I hear you say cross? Now let me ask you. Must she sleep with her man before she can get money to pay for her school fees? Huh? Eh? I'm asking you. Must she sleep with her man? Oh, me. Now you listen to me. You better take care to whoever that is responsible for, for that pregnancy. We don't have a uh, 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 bastard in our family. You just say. Now get out. If you don't leave this moment, I'll push you. Huh? Yes. You will push me. I will push you now. You will push me, you just hear me? Yes. Okay. What are you can't do anything. Okay, you, you can't do anything. Like mother, like a daughter. Come back. 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 Come You are back already? Yes, I am back. How was market today? Hey, Mama. Hey. Hey, Mama. Market was not that bad. Just that um, I was feeling somehow I decided to come back. If not, I would have finished selling the oranges. That's my daughter. You've tried. Hmm? You will go inside and rest. Let me finish picking this bitter leaf. And prepare food so that you will eat. Mm -hmm. Let me rest more here. Can not I go? But remember, we will be going for evening strolling. Even the child in the womb, so that the baby will be strong. Mm -hmm. No problem. Oh? No problem. Are you guys having fun? Yes, yes. 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 so much fun. Are you having fun? Yes. yes. Hey, baby, you did so much. One day, you did so much. <laughs> oh, uh, Baba! So, Baba! So, come here. How much is my bill? 1.6 million euros. Eh? 1.6 million euros. What's the second 1.6 million euros. 1.6 million or 1.6 billion? 1.6 million euros. You know, you have to distinguish both. We need to know if it's 1.6 million or 1.6 billion. 1.6 so million. So tell me, how do you want your money? In cash or... You know what? Just send me your account number. I'll do it transfer to you ASAP. Okay, sir. Okay. I'll do that. Hey, listen. When I talk to you, say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What's my name? Shike! A.K.A. Big Master A.K.A. Hush Puppy! A.K.A. Lisa Funky Pose! My nigga, my nigga. Now you see me all the outside. Shike Puppy, tell baby boy. My darling. You know what I need? 
I need a car. You need a car? Yes, baby. What kind of car do you need? Um, just RS 350. Wow. RX 350? Yes, baby. <laughs> That's a Lexus. Yes, baby, I know. That's a lot of money. I know, baby. I know you're capable, baby. I trust you, baby. <laughs> and also, baby, uh, right there, you know, she's my best friend. I think she also needs one, too. What do you want? I want a Benz for Matic, to be precise. Is it gonna? Benz for Matic. You need a Benz? For Matic. For Matic? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, yeah. Cash. <laughs> how far? What do you want? Mm -mm. I need a wear furnished cosmetic shop. Mm. Say again. I need a wear furnished cosmetic shop. Where? Lekki to be precise. Wear furnished cosmetic shop in Lekki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Confirm. So you are Bobriski. Done. Ne, Alpha. What, what do you want? I don't want much. Okay. I just want a house in Banana Island. Huh? Eh? You say you want what? A house in Banana Island. You need a house in Banana Island. Not Banana Island. No. Banana. Island. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, have you heard of Potato Island? You are uh -huh. a thief. Uh -huh. <laughs> my my man. Uh uh. No. Uh -huh. He's hush puppy now. Banana Island. He's becoming done. Becoming. Uh, DJ. So DJ. Play me music. <laughs> Talk to you. Yes. I'm just seeing. Can I sit down? Sit back. Sit down. Yes. Dad. I want to come back to the company. I mean, I've been searching for a job. I can't find any. No one has agreed to employ me. But Dad, I can't have a rich father, a father as rich as you are, with a huge company employing thousands of people, and I can't get a job. Why? That's unacceptable, Dad. What I feared most is happening to me. GK. This is comparable to the biblical story of the prodigal son who walked and walked and walked, goes back to his roots. So, you have returned home, returned to the company and you want to be re-employed, right? Yes, where we are. GK, <clears throat> what about the sixty four million naira you realized from the sale of that my building? Building you sold at my back. The same building I later said keep the money as part of your settlement. That as your settlement, your basic start off in life. 64 million naira. What about it? Dad, Dad, why are you talking about the past? That's in the past, Dad. Why are you bringing it back? That I made use of the money. 
Besides 64 million, that, that's small money. That's small money. 64 million is nothing. That how, how much how much do you do you do you spend in, in, in a month? 64 million is nothing that I, I made use of it. Make use of it. Yes. Of course you should make use of it. Alright, where where did you invest it? Hmm? Where did you invest it? How? That the money is finished. I, I didn't invest it. Sixty four million was too small to in, to, to invest. I, I couldn't invest it in anything. It was too small. Made use of it. Sixty-four million naira. You mean? You mean? That yeah. I finished more. That please tell me. When, when am I resuming work? Oh, shut up! Get out of here! Get out! Agnes! Agnes! Uncle, I'm greeting you. Hold your greeting. Eh? Hold your greeting. Yes? What is it? And what can I do for you this morning? Agnes, mm -hmm. why do you allow this girl to suffer like this? I have told you to take care to the person that is responsible for this thing in her womb before she dies here. Oh, it's the womb mad. Chai, it is you that will die, not my daughter. You just say, it is you that will die, not Chiwend. Let me ask you, why are you so concerned now over her condition? When you contributed to it, we came to you asking you for your help. You refused. You see where your wickedness has put her. And you had the order, the audacity, the God to come here this morning to talk rubbish. Are you just here? Are you talking to me? No, you're shed. I know you will run your mouth. That is the only thing you are good at. But let me warn you. I don't want to come back here tomorrow and see this thing here. Take care to the person that is responsible for this thing in her stomach. If I come back here tomorrow and meet her here again, <laughs> you will see another side of me. I've already known you as a wicked and heartless man who doesn't want the progress of other people. In fact, you just leave this house. You have overstayed your welcome. Ona? But I should leave your house. I should leave your house. You want me to push you out? I will go. But I came to tell you that I saw my man Neka yesterday. And he asked me to tell you to come and pay her for the ice fish that for you bought from her on credit. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Your late brother's wife buying ice fish on credit to feed herself and her daughter. You took over what was realized for my husband's burial. And you have the mind to walk in here with this your two stupid left leg inside this compound to talk rubbish. Get out. I will go. Go now. Go and pay your money. Go. Go and pay your money. Go. Go. Oh, go. Up here, Aruna. Oh, Aruna. Go. I'm 
go and pay your money. Go and pay your money. She's pregnant in my house, not in your own house. Um, why is your uncle like this? Why is he like that? Don't mind him. If I see him here again, he will see the other side of me. Are you done with the farm work? In fact, go inside and rest. Don't work again. Go inside. Come inside. You are pregnant in my house, not in your house. Who is he to come here and give me order? Mm -hmm. for you ask for me I'm here what is it um um <coughs> is a uh, chinwa uh, the doctor said uh, he will discharge her tomorrow mm -hmm. why are you telling me now like i don't understand how is it my business do i not look like her mother Kineka, why are you talking like this huh you know everything now I, I, you and i know very well that she doesn't have anybody She's an orphan. Let's allow her. Alpha, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking, oh. Because I will not take it, oh. What are you thinking? Hey. Well, yeah, you see, uh, what I'm begging you is. Uh, it's okay, or it's okay. Hmm? Okay, you will. Uh, see, I don't know why you're talking like this. Hmm? What I'm begging you is to allow her to uh, stay here with us, with, uh, with her newborn baby. At least, I know you very well. The way you took care of her child, I know you can take care of her own hmm. too. You, at least, to bait the child. Ah. Please. What am I, Fofo? Alpha, you want me to allow you bring that your slot into this house? As what now? Me, take care of your child. As what? Do I not look like her mother? Be Alpha! Alpha, let it not be that you are responsible for that pregnancy. Because Uncle Mo is your Okay, for now, it's not in top of us. Gilika! It's not in top of us, so. Gilika, what is the meaning of that? No! What kind of woman are you? You want to know? I'm the kind of wife you got married to. Like I said, read my lips. Let it not be that you are responsible. Because, eh? Okay, for now. I'm not going to get it. Is it you're crying again? Oh, come on, I have told you. I told you to stop crying. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine, you say. How can everything be fine in this my condition? I have no mother, no father. My uncle abandoned me. So tell me, how can everything be fine? How do I take care of myself and my baby? Mm. 
Yes, I, 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 I know you don't have a father, no mother, nobody to, to, to look up to, but that was before, that was then. Now I'm here for you. Don't worry, I, I am here for you, everything will be fine. No, I, I, you have a family to take care of. I don't want to be a burden to you. Besides, your wife might not like it. Even if she don't like it, that, 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 that is not my business. Okay? It's her business. I, all I know is that I want you to be fine. I want you and the baby to be fine. Stop this thing you're thinking. Please. I, I get this for you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Bless you too. Hey. You said the baby is fine. Please. See my daughter. Auntie, welcome. Uh -huh. How are you? Fine, thank you, Auntie. How is my daughter? She's fine. She's sleeping inside. Okay, let me see her. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless okay. you. Stop thanking me. All I want you you do is to be fine relax you and baby okay okay uh, this is working hour i just have to go and work now right. i'll come back later hmm? take care of yourself promise me you won't cry again no there's okay. no tears take care bye hmm? bye, -bye. <laughs> all right Baby is getting beautiful every day. <laughs> eh? What are you giving to her? Nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. What is her name? Chilotam. Chilotam. What a beautiful name. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. The God has remembered you. Amen. Oh? Amen. <laughs> um, eh, Chi? Um, who was that man that just left here? Okay. His name is Alpha. Alphonsus. He's the one that took me to the hospital and paid all my hospital bills. You mean he's the man that paid for your pressure? Yes, Auntie. Oh. He's a very nice person. Look at the things he bought for me. Everything. This is very good. Indeed, he's a good person. Hey! Chi. Even this one? Yes, everything here. He bought it. God will bless him. Amen. God will surely bless him. Amen. And G, I would like to see him one on one and take him now. Eh? Uh, no problem. He visits always. Uh -huh. So one of these days you see him. Oh, for Google. She made both baby pampas. Hey, let's take it with me. The baby is doing well. Yes, she is. Yeah. All thanks to you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I know I have thanked you before, but honestly, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for everything you have been doing for me and the baby since I gave birth to her. It's okay. You're welcome. I don't have anything to reward you with. <laughs> I don't but even God know. in heaven will reward you abundantly. Amen. <laughs> but seriously, I... I have made up my mind to take care of you and this baby. No matter what it will cost. Thank you. You're welcome. I... 
Can I ask you something? Or what? I hope you're not having problems with your wife because of me. <laughs> and secondly, why are you doing all these things for me? Why are you being so nice to me? <laughs> Firstly, I am not having any problems with my wife. Thank God. And secondly, ever since the day you told me about yourself, your story, what you are passing through and what you've been through, I I made up my mind to be a brother. Aww. Thank you so much. It's okay. You're indeed a brother. You're welcome. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's too much. Yeah, what are you doing there? Papa. How many I want you to keep away from this girl? She's evil. She killed her parents. Now, get out of this place and go back to the house. Papa, don't let me. I said, get out. Go back to the house. Idiot. Don't walk out. And you. You came to see your second wife. Okay. Uncle, get it. Uncle, what? Is he not your husband? He's not my husband. As I was coming in, I saw both of you hugging and kissing. Kissing what? How am I not sure that, uh, uh, that both of you have uh, 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 not done that thing? Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Don't worry. I don't have your time now. When the time comes, you will see me in action. And you, Madam Jacqueline, you are watching. Don't worry. All of you are the same. I don't like this, you uncle. What, what, what is his problem? The other day he said he doesn't know you. He denied you. Now look at what he's saying. Please don't mind him. He's the major cause of my problems. If you follow that man's mouth, you will commit murder. Huh. <sighs> Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. I have to be on my way now. Take good care of yourself. And you too. Please take care of the baby. Always. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Don't mind that talk. This man is evil. What if you don't have money? What if you don't have money? You're useless man. I'm asking you for money, you're, you're just asking and telling me stories. Eh? Alpha? You don't have money ever since you stayed seeing that she and her baby. You don't take care of your responsibilities in this house anymore. I'll ask you a question, Mr. Oga. Please, what are your plans? Because I don't trust you anymore. I don't. Jennifer, what is your problem? What is your problem? Why are you accusing that innocent lady? What has she done to you? So, Alpha, I should wait until she do something to me. Mbai Siaya. You know what? I will not be here and allow that useless girl tear my family apart. Oh my man, because more of Ginika will not allow that to happen. Before your mother will know. So please, like I said, I am asking you for money. You're giving me stories. But if that girl asks you for money right now, for you will take all your money in your pocket and get to that useless girl. Ginika. Ginika. What is your problem? What is your problem? Well, I don't even understand you. I don't understand you. All I know is that God wants to use me to do something new in the life of that young lady. Hey, she I thought God wants to use you to do something in that lady's life. Just hear yourself speak and abandon your own family. Hey, hey, hey. Point of correction. I am not abandoning my own family. Okay. I am not. Hmm. Why, are you, why are you complaining? I gave you money last month. Money that will last us for like a month plus. And we're here complaining. Why? No, tell me why. What is your, what's wrong with you? What is your problem? Hey, my husband. Just because of that useless girl, you're shouting at me, your wife. Me, good guinea Hey, because of that girl, Alpha, tell me the truth. It's like you want to marry that girl as a second wife. You want to bring that girl inside this house as a second wife. Isn't it? Tell me the truth, Alpha. Tell me the truth. Ginnikan! Ginnikan, leave me! Leave my clothes! I, I, I will slap you! 
You have accused me of this before. If you try it again, if you accuse me again, I will do otherwise. What will you do? What will you do? What will I do? Leave me alone, John. You will do otherwise. What will you do? Use less keke man. What bitch? Use less keke? Yes, that's what you are. You Use less again. Eh, that's what you have. Use that is feeding you. Eh, what you do? Why would you, 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 you feed me? I'm under your responsibility. Look at Why you. Why would you feed me? You. You're Why looking you good. You're looking you know good. what? You're looking good because of this keke you're calling you. I will take the first you. Don't worry. Okay. You say, I will take the first you. Don't worry. 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 I will take the first you. Don't let him come out far fast. Come here now. You stand for that. Let them watch me. Yes, sir. Ah, John. You're going to help me. Uh, one minute. Let's go straight to the point. Uh, Arufo, Chairman and other executive member sent I and John to come and tell you that you just have two weeks to bring out our money. Two weeks. Of course, you know the money is overdue now. So, we want everybody to take his own and solve his own problem. Failure to do so. Two weeks. Just two weeks. Two weeks. You go? John, one of them. Uh, I, I, uh, I will explain how I... Explain what? Explain what? The only explanation we need from you now is our money. Don't explain any other thing. We did you just two weeks to bring out that money. If you don't bring out that money, I'm sorry for you. you see what we are going to do to you. Guys, let's go. <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks, though. Did you hear them? Two weeks. Alpha, I told you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. You packed all their money. The money was not even your own. To give it to another lady, I warned you. Ngwani, two weeks, you will pay the money. Here, yeah, I was see you again. You're your own. Two weeks, oh! Okay. Um, uh, uh, Chairman, it's um, it's about our age grade money that I used. Okay. Um, what about it? Um, I don't have the money now. And um, John and Obona came to my house to inform me that you said I must return the money in three days' time. Yes, you have three days. You have three days to return that money. You know that money belongs to our age grade. You know that. Uh, before you came, I was on my way to see somebody, and I don't want anybody to distract my movement. Please, please, you have, you have three days to return that money, or whatever you see, you take it. Uh, chairman, please, 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 excuse me. Chairman, I. Um, Any crime committed. Chief, sorry. If you want to know what he did, come to our office, sir. Your office. Of course I can come to your office. Uh -uh. But we don't need to drag this thing. Since I'm here, we solve this problem. Yeah. Chief, this one is not a small thing matter. This is a money issue. Right. Not a small thing. See. Mm. It is money matter. 
this is a problem we can solve here. What did he do? What is it? What is it? Did, what did he? How much of your money did he take? Well, Chief, uh, if you want to know, he ate our eighth grade meeting money. Yes. And we want that money now. Yes. Now. All right. All right, boys. This is a small problem. It's a small problem. Huh? And it's not a problem we cannot thrash out here. We are all young people. I like young people. Do you know that you young people are the future of this community? The future of the nation? The future of the country? Eh? We look up to you. So let's solve this thing. My friend, I mean, Look, how much are we even talking about here? Chief, it's a, it's a very big money. 164,000. Yes. 164,000. You are keeping silent. Spent Talk it. to Chief. Chief. I mean, how, how could you have spent your age grade money? 164,000. Chief, I, I didn't. I didn't spend it on, on myself. I, I used it to save a life. For the Christmas story. All right, since I, I have decided to, uh, I've decided to wade into this matter. I will find out the life you said you wanted to save. Um, one sixty-four thousand. Now, if you, if somebody gives you one hundred and sixty-four thousand naira, will you close this case? Will you leave this young man? Why not you leave him now, ah, chief? We don't have any problem with him. In short, he's our treasurer. You understand? Once you give all this money, bam, everybody will go his way now. We don't have any problem with him at all at all. Yes. Okay, he's even your treasurer. All right. Um, okay. Uh, who is senior here? I'm the task force chairman, sir. Oh, okay. There we go. 100, 200,000. Chief, it's more than the money now. Power. Yes. Hey. Balance. Power. Don't worry. 164, the, the balance, the, the three of you here can share it. Four gold shot for Chief. 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 Four gold shot you are very lucky. Go thank you for thank you. This girl in question, the girl, the girl you saved her life. Uh, she doesn't have parents or what? No, Chief. She she doesn't have anybody. She she's an orphan. I the day I ran into her on the, the streets of this village, I carried her with my keke to the hospital because she's a pregnant uh, lady. Mm. I, I took her to the hospital. The doctor demanded for 80,000 naira. Mm. And I ran to people. Nobody helped. Even to one of her uncle who abandoned her. The uncle refused to give me anything to help her with. I had no choice than and to use the eighth grade meeting money that is with me to save her life and the unborn child. Mm. The people I ran to refused to lend me money. It's a pathetic story. Very pathetic. 
and uh, the young girl and the child they are both living yes in good health now right yes <sighs> young man you did a very good thing you did a great thing Thank maybe you, yes maybe that's why my spirit informed me to intervene in your matter um that's good that's good we shall be talking more about this thank you keep it up keep it up thank you Yes, my dear, like I said, um, all your problems have come to an end today. Oh? I tell you, uh, God is going to use me to wipe your tears. Hmm? Yes, the worries, your tears, they will all become a thing of the past. Okay. All you'll be singing from now on is Thanksgiving. Hmm? All right. Um, I'll be going now, but I shall return for you. Okay. Um. I'm going to give you some money for you and your baby. The money will hold uh, you and your baby for a while, okay? Um, yeah, this 300,000 Naira. 300,000? No, sir. No, 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 sir. I, I cannot accept this. This is huge. I I've never seen this type of money before. Um, yes. I know it's big. I know it's big. You see it as big. But I can assure you that uh, now that you know me, you'll be seeing much more than this. Okay? Now use this and cover it. You know your neighborhood. Cover it. I should take it. Yes, cover it first before you go in so that people don't know what you're. Um, Alpha? Sir. Take, 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 take. We shall do that. Thank you, sir. My dear. Thank you, thank you, sir. I'll be back. Hmm? Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. tried reaching you on your cell phone, but it is ringing, you are not picking. I mean, for the appointment. Is there any problem? Yes, I remember the appointment. Barrister. You look so worried. I'm not worried. I'm just depressed. Just depressed. See, this world is different stroke for different people. Some are poor, some are rich, some are so poor, so deplorable. Oh my God! Some are in the gutter! I don't understand. Barrister, I went to my village just this last weekend. On my way to just before I got to my village, I interacted with this. This, I, I don't want to use the word wretched because wretched is on the negative side. This poor, poor, poorest orphan. A girl. Her, her situation. Her situation. 
drill tears from me. What happened? Hmm. Poor girl. Her father is late. Leaving the mother who could not sustain her education. And so poor girl, she started to hawk oranges on the street. Then one idiot, one idiot grabs the skull and rips her. And to make, make matters worse, the girl becomes pregnant. And meanwhile, the mother is no more. No father, no mother, no relatives, because that's what it is. It, 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 it usually ends out. This is terrible. Terrible? Pathetic! Chief, I know you to be a very good person. What do you intend to do in this case? What I have to do? Of course I must do something. Why are people this wicked? What I intend to do in this case? It's obvious. I'm sitting here. I'm comfortable. I'm enjoying life. I do not lack the means. And then out there is this girl I've identified. Poor, poor girl. Oh, come on. It's obvious. I need to use the resources God has given me to. To make things better for her. That's the least I can do. It's a debt we owe society. So, Chief. Go and get a tizy. She's in labor, you can see that. Eh? Please, go and get some and take her to hospital. She cannot drive. Okay, I'm coming. Hold her well. Hold her well, I'm coming. Okay. I will. Sorry, eh? Sorry, please. The waist, the waist, the waist. Sorry, don't worry. Very nice. Please, my wife, Well, thank God. Uh. Congratulations, she just delivered a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the baby boy? Hey, God, baby boy. Thank you. Thank you. No, let me go. No, no, I have to hold on. She's in the labor room, please. She's <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you. Um, Daddy, he's inside with your wife. Bring, bring him to, to me. Okay. Um, just a sec, Dad. Um, she. Um, Daddy wants to see the baby.
Sebenarnya mas mahal lobi cukup Nenyo Amobi That's a beautiful name my husband Thank you so much Such a beautiful name <laughs> Okay Should I take you inside? of a son are you? Hmm? What? What kind of a son is this? A son whose father is lying there in the village critically sick and all you can do is to sit here, drink, smoke and waste your life? You are not even bothered about your own father, Chike. Your father! The man who bettered you, right? It's not a problem. Whatever seed you plant today, same seed you're going to harvest tomorrow. Because you, someday soon, Chike, you are going to be a father. And your own children must treat you the same way, if not more. I pray for you. Are you here to curse me or you're here to insult me? Chike, of course not. Place a curse on you. Why do I need to waste my time placing curses on you? A curse that you have already brought upon yourself? <laughs> it is a norm. Whatever you sow, mm -hmm. that you shall reap. Amaka, mm. if you don't leave here in the next two seconds, you're going to hate me. Ah, there's no need. Take your medicine. I prepared something nice for you. Wakey, wakey! Darling, please wake up. The food is getting cold. Please. It's okay. So you can take your medicine. Honey. Darling, Chief, Chief, no, 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 Chief, 
Yes? That what happened? Your father is dead. Uh -uh. When? Oh, last night. Hey, yeah. Uh, has his corpse been deposited at the mortuary? It's okay, I've heard you. Oh, no. No, I can't come now. I'm a little bit busy. Amaka, stop shouting. Yes, I know he is my husband. That shouldn't be the reason you should be shouting at me. Will you shut up your mouth, my friend? Shut up! Mom, I overheard you screaming on the phone. Who was that? Is it not Amaka? Uh, what happened? Uh, she said your father is dead. That I should start coming to the village immediately. I told her that wouldn't be possible. I'm a little bit busy. She started shouting at me as if I am a child. I don't really know what is wrong with that girl. Mom, you said my father is dead. That was what she said. She just told me now. Um, like, like dead, dead, dead. Your father is dead, and you are here uh, 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 asking wow, me like, wow, dead, wow, like wow. dead, dead, dead. What do you mean? You have to get yourself prepared. We will be traveling to the village in four days' time. But, well, Mom, I, I don't think I can go with you. Why? Um, because if I travel with you, who's going to stay back home to prepare for his funeral? Uh, yes, I think you have a point there. In that case, I will travel alone. Better. But mom, are you sure he's dead? That's what Amaka just said now. Wow. Don't be Ochile. So, Ochile is gone and gone forever. Ochile Oswa. Ochile Oswa. Gone and gone forever. Hey! 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 What shall I do? My brother, I can't question the gods. Oko si si agago, umu nunu jote. But I ain't get bored with job anymore. I can't question God. Only when he will go. Look at the innocent wife. Just look at the innocent wife that has been suffering, trying all she could to save my brother. And my brother has not survived. Ah! Uh, all our efforts have been in vain. Mm. Oh, Chile. Oh, Chile, oh, Chile. Hey. Hmm. A tree that makes a forest. Oh, Fusi. Mero, Obu. Oh, Fio, Oboko. Oni, Kusa. Oni, Kusa. Oni, Kusa. Go and be our eyes there. Go there and be our eyes. Chike. Chike. Yes? I'm sure you're happy that your father is dead, right? Your father's body lies cold in the mortuary and all you can do is frolic with your women. Hi, hey, Chika, I'm ashamed of you. 
I am ashamed to call you my brother. And I'm very sure that wherever father is right now, he's regretting ever birthing a son like you. Are you done? What mortuary did you take his corpse to? Chika, you're such a fool. Chika, you are a big fool. You're very stupid for asking me this silly question. Kai! Chike! All of you who has treated father badly in this house, you will soon begin to receive your reward. Are you done? This is the second time you're sounding like this. I won't tolerate it the third time. Chike, you will suffer! Chike, you will suffer! Chike, your children and your children's children will treat you worse. Chike, you will suffer. Hi, babe. Take it easy. He's your elder brother. What are you... What are you... Get out! With you, that's my guest. Get out! Get out! No. Amaka, have you gone mad? That's my guest. Go and punish you, Chike. What's wrong with you? Go and punish you. 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 Are you doing here, Joyce? I'm asking you again. What are you doing here? Will you get out of this place? Get out before I show you the bad side of me. Get out. No, please take it easy. Take what easy? Just calm down. Calm what down? Calm what now? Your husband has been sick for the past three months. You never cared to ask. You never visited. Now he's dead after five days. Look at you coming. What are you coming here to do? Eh? What are you coming here to do? By the way, where are your children? Chike and the Flora? No, they are busy. They are busy? Eh? Yeah, they are busy. They are busy to the extent that they cannot come and see their sick father or the sick bed. Talk of now that he's dead. Eh? Yeah? Oh, okay. It's alright. Now, be prepared to face your mother. Be prepared to face them. Flora! Get out! No, please. No, because no, no, Tell me why you are here. Now I want us to talk about something very important. What is it? Say whatever you want to say. Because I want to go to bed. It's late now. No. Yes. I want to ask you something. Do you realize that my husband's problem started immediately he married that his second wife called Chinwe? Yes. If not that, Ochiri of all people suddenly fell sick. Stroke for that matter. Stroke is not in your lineage in now. And so many other problems that this family is facing now. Think about it in now. Joyce. Yes, in now. Ah, let me tell you. You are the cause of all the problems my brother had. You. So, get out of this place. Just keep moving. Get out. I don't want to see you at all. Now, it seems you don't understand me. Now, I want you to do something for me. And I will pay you handsomely. I don't want to see Shinwe here. On the day of my husband's burial. Yes. Send her out of this compound. 
and I will pay you the sum of 300,000 Naira. And equally pay you 100,000 Naira as monthly salary for the rest of your life. And most importantly, I will give you one of my husband's buildings in the city. How about it? Joyce. Yes, Nina. You are a big fool. Very foolish woman. But see you, Fulega. Okay, Nine. To tell you how serious I am, this is the sum of 300,000 naira I promised to give you. Yes. Joyce, come, come back. Come back. Come and take this. Don't worry, Hapu, Abba. Let's go, Lola. Yeah, woman. Woman! Hey. Uncle? I have discovered that you are a witch. Eh? But you kill your husband with witchcraft. Me? Don't say anything. And for your own interest, you leave this house first thing in the morning tomorrow with your kids. If I come back here and see you, I'll kill you. Take it from me. It's a promise. How could you? How could you do this? Do I mean, this is so unbelievable. You of all people, you sent my father's wife out of her own house, her own husband's house. Uncle, considering all that this lady went through during my father's sick days, you still have the heart to do this. Amaka, my daughter. Your father's wife, she is a witch. She killed your father. Uncle, please, just stop this already. Stop it! Enough of this nonsense! How can you say this? She wasn't a witch those days she was carrying my sick father all around. She was not a witch. You have suddenly decided to become wicked to an innocent woman. Uncle, I know that my mother plotted this evil against her. But my surprise is that you of all people, you bought into this. I'm really amazed at you. Uncle, I am going to say this to you. It is a promise. If anything, I repeat, anything whatsoever happens to my father's wife and her children. Uncle, I am going to create a history that the whole world will never forget. Mark my words. Uncle. You are calling me, talking to me like that? You are talking to me like that? Uncle, please. Please, eh? with due respect, do not call my name again. Do not call my name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uncle, I will not forgive you for this. Oh. I will not forgive you. And I'm going right to Chinwe's house to bring her back to her home. It is her home, her husband's house. It's not getting me. You heard me. What have you just said? You heard me, Uncle. Eh? Let me tell you. Never you try that do anwa kwani anwa. Don't try it. Never you do that. Stop me if you can then. Stop me. Okay. 
Ok, sua reta. She's sleeping inside. Please. Please, my dear. Come back home with me. I beg of you. That's your home. Your husband's house. You can't just pack and run away because my uncle says so. Nobody has the right to send you out of your husband's house. Please. Tanaka. No. I will not come back home. My life and that of my children are at risk. Your uncle made it clear to me that he will kill me if he sees me in that compound again. Look at me, Amaka. Take a very good look at me. I have no one to speak for me. My parents are dead. My husband is dead. My uncle hates me with passion. He does not want to hear or see anything about me. So please, I will not come back home. Let me stay here with my children and face my destiny. Anytime that God calls on me, I will go and answer him and leave this wicked world. Forbid. Please. God forbid, you're not going to die. Come on, stop talking like this. Look, I have had a talk with my uncle. And I promise no harm or hurt is going to come to you nor your children. Trust me. Hamaka, you will not understand. You needed to be there. You needed to see what your uncle did to me. I'm not going anywhere. Like I said, I will stay here. I will be fine here. Um, look, I just want to beg you, hmm? I'm here now, I promise I would not let any heart come to you, please, come back with me, I beg of you. Amaka, thank you so much for your concern, you're a nice person, but in cases like this, you are just a woman. The forces against this issue is, is heavier than you think. So please, let me stay here. <laughs>
What happened? The vehicle just shut down. The vehicle just shut down. Then start it now. Let me just... You didn't, you didn't fix it. Let me help you fix the battery. Driver, what is it? The battery. Let me touch it. Let me touch it. Oh yeah, go on. Start it. Go, go. Inside. Are you inside? Are you? Are you crazy? No, no. Ah. And you go and keep that picture. This this car is not starting. You're holding. Hey. Driver, what is going on? Hello. What is hey. going on? Hey, Uncle. Uncle. Okay. Huh? Uncle, can you hear me? Uncle, there's problem, oh. Uncle, there is problem. The the ambulance, the vehicle is not moving anymore. It just stopped in the middle of nowhere. You better find your, yourself here, oh. Driver, what is going on? Huh? You don't understand what? No, no, no. Can open it. Go and open the boot so that they can pick up the cops from there. Yeah, Let the undertaker take that one. Open the boot. Go and open the boot. Let them ah. take the, uh, the cops. What's your, the problem with your car? Let them go and take this one. Ah, but, is that the right thing to do? Ah. This one too is not open. What? It's not open. Huh? You put this one to the open. Ah! Ah! Look at this. They never got children. Ah! Look at this. Wait, Oga, what, what's, what's the problem? You can't understand what. And can you just open it? Open it and let's take 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 take, take out the. Right. 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 What do you mean? What are you talking about? Wait 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 wait. wait. Is, is, is this some kind of joke? No, it's not a joke. Is this some kind of joke? You think we're joking here? Ah, what rubbish is this? You guys, I'm trying to open it. This is the first time I'm experiencing such thing. Even me. No, did the. Uncle, the car refused to move. What do you mean that the car refused the to move? The car refused to move. The car refused to move. Yes, what do you mean? The boot cannot open, brother. It's terrible. The boot cannot Driver. open. Driver. Okay, Uncle, we're stuck here. Let me see with my eyes. We're stuck here. Start it. Uncle, are you a magician? What are you trying to do? Are you a magician? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uncle, are you a magician? Let, let me hear something. Can you that's calm that's down for one second? Can you just move. calm down? Flora, can you keep quiet? Don't start. Okay. Well, that's just Mad people! If you people want this man to reach his house, Better go back and get his wife, which you people connived together and sent back in. Or else, you people will sleep here. Who is this? Oh my god. What? Oh, you my friend, will you get out of this place? And send her back in. Okay. It's better that you people go and bring her back. Or else, hey, get out of this place. People will sleep what here. Do do oh my god. Mad people. Mad people. Mad people. Huh? Did you hear that? What has that one got to do with this cop? Did you hear that chicken? Did you hear her? Did you hear her? Did you hear her? What? Did you hear her? Did I hear what? Did you hear her? That's a bad person. You got the message, right? That's a mad woman. No, she's not mad. She is not mad. Amaka, that's a mad woman talking. Stop it, Chicky! Stop it! Have you gone crazy? Oh my God! Shut up! Oh my God! That's a mad woman. You heard her, right? Are you going to believe a mad woman? Shut up! 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 Shut Brother, come and do something. Can you imagine? A mad woman just came here and talked so many rubbish at this. What, what nonsense is this? Please. You are not a witch. You are not a witch. Please. We cannot bury our brother without you. Because, as I'm feeling now, everybody, everybody. The ambulance, the cops are on the road because my brother refused to go home. 
He has refused to go home without you. Please. Please. I crave your indulgence. Please forgive. I know I might have treated you wrongly. But forgive. Let's go and bury our brother. I am not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. Leave me alone. I am not going. Please. Chimwe. Chimwe, please, I beg of you, come with us. I beg you in God's name. For the sake of my father, your husband. For the sake of the love that you both share, come with us. Please. Come with us so that my father's corpse can get home to be buried. I'm sorry for all the things that my uncle, my mother, my brother, my sister, that they all did to you. I'm really, really sorry. But for the sake of the love that you both share, please remember he was a good man. And I know that you both loved each other. Please, my good wife. Please. I might have treated you badly. But please forgive. Please, Chimu. Yeah. Let's go and bury Ochiri. Ochiri Ozwa. Your loving husband. Please. Please. I, I know how you feel. But please, Mark, I am doing this because of you and because of the love I had for my late husband. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my good wife. Thank you. Did you get a mechanic? Did you get a mechanic? <laughs> oh Lord, she's asking the dead to go call a mechanic to start the car. She can come down. All of you are, all of you are crazy. Driver, can start the car. What? Wait, Say everything is all right. Did, did you ask my late father driver, to call the, the mechanic car. to start Say the car? Is all right. Like seriously? Driver, please start. The driver, car. Just start the driver, car. start the car. So my dead father went to call a mechanic to to, to, to fix the car, right? Start really? Chicken, my dead, you asked my dead father to go call the mechanic to start the car. <laughs> See, you need to talk down. to me. Call me. I need, I need answer. Why did you say? Chicken, calm down. The car is already started. Chicken. Chicken. How is it? Okay, go, 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 What did you do? I told you, Chicken. You told me what? I told so you. So she spoke to my dead father to stop you. I told you, did I tell Chike. you? Chicken. No, 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 I need to understand what happened. This car wasn't oh, working a few minutes ago. It's okay. You should be grateful. No, no, no. Should you should be grateful, Chicken. No, 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 I don't trust this car. Get the casket out. Let's, let's, let's all walk with it. We should get the casket yes, out. Yes, get the casket out. Let's all walk with it. This car is going to stop again.
So ladies and gentlemen, that is all for the wheel. Mm. I believe you all had me well. Wait. And Chief won as he wrote the wheel. So shall it be. Of course. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> Barista, thank you for that well spoken speech. That was a good one. But you know what? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Because everything you just read to us is bullshit! Arrant nonsense. You know why? Because it's completely impossible. Ten percent of his wealth, his property, to me. Ten percent to my mother and my sister. Ten percent to his brother, my uncle, sitting before us at seventy percent. To these witches, to my left and to my right. That is diabolic. It's unacceptable. Tell me, how else can you describe witchcraft? All of you are witches, including you, Barrister. You look like one. Barrister, are you sure, like very sure, that it was our late father that wrote that will? Or you're just trying to take sides here? Uh, well, my dear, I'm sure you know your father's signature. Why can't you take a look at it? Let me help you pass it on. Thank you very much, Barrister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. This is my father's signature. But you and I know that anyone can easily learn and sign this. And I am sure that is exactly what you did, Mr. Barrister. Now listen to me. Get this rubbish out of this place because it is unacceptable. Hey, wait, 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 listen, wait, wait, guys, 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 we're going too far with this, alright? It is possible he signed the damn documents, okay? But the old man is dead and he's probably in hellfire right now. But guess what? I am his son, his legacy, the one to continue his name. Above all, I am his next of kin. I have the right to change that will right now! Yes, I do. Barista, I am disappointed at you. I thought you were a nice person. So you connived with my late husband when he was alive to prepare this nonsense you call a will and gave out everything to this thing here. Huh. Point of correction, madam. I never connived with anybody to write the will. I am sure when he brought this, you read it. You know his family very well. And you didn't bother to tell him that what he wrote there was wrong. 
yet you went ahead and accepted. So, now listen to me. Enough of this nonsense, Kalagi. I want to talk to you. <clears throat> and I want everybody to listen and listen carefully. Joyce, you might have heard when the barrister was reading away, when he said that the husband wrote that if Chicken does not like or does not accept the content of the way, he should ask you a question. Now, tell Chike, tell him your story so that we, we, we end this, uh, this uh, drama, this episode. Talk to him. Tell him the truth. Are you hearing me? So, Mom, uh, you heard my uncle. Um, you were supposed to tell me a story. So what other story do you have to tell me? How my father joined the Nigerian army or the Biafran army in 2046? Tell me. I'm all ears. Please, we need to hurry up. My son. Don't have time. The truth here is that when I got married to your father, yes. we stayed like 10 years without a child. And, and because of the love we have for each other, we went to a motherless baby's home and adopted you. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. What? Adopted who? And after some years, God blessed us with uh, Flora here and Hamaka. Oh, wahoo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that I am my parents' biological child. <laughs> so, Chike, oh you've heard the story. So, in a metutu gaga, eh? Where's the way? Wow. Where am I? Although we are still the, the son of uh, Ochere, but we take it easy. Do you understand? Yes. Um, you said God blessed you with Amaka. Yes, I'm from Florida. So who did God bless with me? Nobody.
Chika, where are you heading to? Hmm? Uncle, I'm leaving this village. I'm tired. Why? Uncle, you're asking me why? Yes. Uncle, why are you acting as if you don't know why I'm leaving the village? I'm tired of this village. <laughs> I'm not included in the will, so let me leave. Who says so that you're not included in the will? Chiki, my son. Now let me tell a simple truth. Whatever that happened in that will, your father, Ochere, and my brother Ruth, it's your fault. Because you do not play your, your role as the first son of the family. But uncle, no matter what I did wrong, for him to will almost all his wealth to strangers, what, what happens to me? I, I know I'm adopted, like they told me, but what happened to me, his son? Tike, you are still the first son, adopted or not adopted. That compound belongs to you. And it's a lesson to you and to everybody. So, Uncle, let's go back. Uncle, going back is not the problem. The problem is, what is my position? Where do I stand in the family? You are standing as first son of Ochiri. And you have your full rights as first son of Ochiri for henceforth. That house belongs to you and everything there. That's all. Let's go. Let's go back. You can build on what he gave you. You can build on it. Uncle, are, are, are you sure I'm saving man? that house? No, we are very much safe. I'm there. Nothing will happen. Nothing ever will happen. I'm there. Let's go back. Please. Let's, don't be despondent. Let's go. Be confident. Trust me. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. You go with Mommy, remember that I told you that whatever seed you plant, that same seed is what you will invest. Now that he is gone, now look at you. Just take a look at your life. You ended up the same way as Daddy. But you know the difference is that he had people around him, that he was surrounded by so much love until his last day. He had me, he had Chiwe, but I doubt, I don't know who's going to take care of me in this condition. Is it your daughter Flora or your son? All of you ganged up and killed daddy for what? Flora. Flora. I did all I could as a sister to talk you into showing your father just a little love, but. <sighs> I don't know why you were so wicked. You could have chosen to be anything else, but you chose to be a bad daughter. Just like mommy. Mommy chose to be a bad wife and a bad mother to all of us. But I mean, daddy loved you. He did. But how did you pay him back? You had only one father. And now he's gone. Gone forever. That makes you fatherless. I hope you're satisfied. I hope so. I hope that you find happiness now that he's gone. No, 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 no. I don't know why you're crying. What's the need? You don't need to cry. Because you know what? Crying will never bring him back. He's gone. Chike. Chike. I don't know what to say about you. But 
one thing I know for a fact is that Daddy loved you, Smell. He did. I mean, knowing now that he picked you up from an orphanage home, and yet he showed you that measure of love as a son. We didn't even know that you were not our brother. I mean, biological brother. Chike, that man deserved all the love in the world. But what did you do? What did you do as a son? You were so wicked. You were so wicked to this man until the point of his death. I'm glad that he gave you this house. He left you this house, which is a very good thing. Because this house is forever going to be a constant reminder that you, Chike, that you killed your own father. Yes. Because each time you come into this compound, you're forever going to see his grave. That will always remind you that you killed your father, Flora. That you killed your father. Mom, you're always going to remember that you killed your husband. Please have a sip. Oku, okay, you're welcome. Chiwe. Chiwe, are you there? Chiwe. Chiwe, are you there? Uh, Uncle, I invited you here to let you know that I, Jingwei, and the kids will be going back to the city tomorrow. Yes. Uncle, in addition to what Amaka just said, we'll be going back to the city tomorrow to enable me take care of the company, the estates, and um, start building on that land. I'll have to invite you to the city as well so that you can help me call people to clear the land, get contractors to start work there. I, will, I want to hold my husband's memorial service there. I wouldn't want to do it in this house. Thank you very much. I will do exactly as you said. I advise you to take good care of the properties away to you. Manage it very well. Take good care of the children until I come. I wish you safe journey to me. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much. After said and done, there is judgment. After said and done, there is judgment. Mm. If I in a menu, I'm a paraluba, I'm a paraluba. If I in a menu, I'm a paraluba, I'm a paraluba. Sweet, one and all. Remember one way to 
ಕೊಳ್ಳ 